As long as you are all on the same network, um, that will mean that your OnSong devices can talk together, okay? But if you were to swipe down from the upper right hand corner of your iPad, you can see uh, we have our control panel. Again, I just swiped down from the upper right corner and we have our Wi-Fi icon right there. And in newer versions of iOS, you can just kind of press and hold and see uh, what you're connected to. So anyway, um, just make sure that you're on the same network. Yours might be called Linksys, yours might be called Home, yours might be called FBI surveillance truck. I don't know what you have your Wi-Fi called. As long as everybody is connected to the same thing, uh, that's all you have to know to use Onsong Connect. So uh, the next thing again is, is Onsong Connect. Uh, you can see I have this Onsong Connect button. Um, it brings up an interface, but it's a little bit more advanced, okay? Uh, you can see here I have my available devices that are on the network. I can put a check mark next to 11 and iPad Pro 10.5. Um, and then I can tap on this square with an up arrow and I can choose to either connect to them and connecting basically means that I can stream to them. I can control their device or I can beam to them. So I'm just gonna uh, request to connect to them uh, and then they get a request and then they can tap on accept. Hit accept over there. There we go. And in a few seconds, they are now um, clients of mine. So they're in the clients tab here in Onsong Connect, in my Onsong Connect uh, screen. Um, and so I can now control their devices swiping, moving around, that type of thing. And you can see that you know it's a little bit delayed, just a little bit, because we're waiting to actually make sure that we switch this song. So if I kind of like, you know, just do this and then change my mind, it's not gonna go firing that off there. So a lot of, a lot of what we do is to try to minimize our network traffic to make sure that uh, everything is performing the way it should. And this works with any type of uh, song file. So it works with text-based files, it works with PDF files. Word files, all that stuff, um, and everything that I do, you know, whether it's selecting our sections, zooming, you know, in and out, all that stuff uh, gets carried over to my Onsong Connect devices. And when we're all done, I can disconnect from them. Now, one thing to keep in mind with Onsong Connect is that it is an incredibly robust um, connection. So even if all of these devices crashed, we reboot iOS and we open OnSong again, you're still gonna be controlling those devices, okay? Um, so you have to go in and actually disconnect or else, um, you know, next time you guys show up, someone will be like, why does my song keep changing, okay? So uh, to do that, we can go in here uh, again to our menu. We're gonna open up the connect option down at the bottom. Uh, you can see that my clients are set up there. Um, I can either swipe right to left over them and just disconnect or I can tap to check mark and I can hit disconnect here, and um, now I'm disconnected from that Onsong Connect session, so anything that I do here, you can see it's not happening on their devices anymore.